NBC5 responds and the dangers behind a common product likely in your home. We're talking about lithium ion batteries. They're in so many things and you may have one charging right now, but experts say leaving these batteries unattended can have drastic consequences like it did for a Hinsdale family this past winter. Here's Lexi Suter. We had planned to take a week vacation uh, out west. We went to um, went to the airport, got out to Colorado about one or two in the morning. We started getting phone calls. We had a lot of uh, messages, and finally our daughter called us and said our house caught fire last night. Repeating for the structure fire. What happened to Pete Legan's home last November is both a nightmare and a miracle. Thank God that we weren't home. Starting in what used to be his laundry room, now this charred mess. The fire started here along this wall. We had the vacuum cleaner plugged in and hanging right here. While the official cause of the fire is still under investigation, this photo taken in the days after shows what fire investigators told Pete was the point of origin. And if you zoom in, you can see the suspected culprit, a lithium ion battery cell. They're extremely effective in powering the devices we use every day. Adam Barwi with the Fire Safety Research Institute says lithium ion battery explosions are not rare, given how many are used in everyday items, from e-bikes and drones to power power tools and portable vacuums. Chances are you have one right now in your home. But if these batteries are left charging for too long or if they have any defects, it can result in what's called thermal runaway. That's basically an internal chemical reaction that can heat up the battery faster than it can give off that heat. It, it ultimately results in fire. Adding to those concerns, the flood of third party replacement batteries sold online for a variety of products. It may be that that battery hasn't been evaluated to that same standard that the original product went through. In Pete's case, he had purchased a third party replacement battery for his portable vacuum off of Amazon, made by a company called Power Extra. Days after the fire, Pete received this message from Power Extra over Amazon, telling him the company's quality inspection department tested and noticed batteries from the same batch he ordered from had a chance of overheating. Weeks later, he received this letter in the mail from Power Extra, recalling the battery. The specific battery he purchased is no longer for sale on Amazon. This technology is fairly new that uh, I think people are really unaware of the dangers behind them. Pete's case may not be isolated. Our research came across this lawsuit filed in New Jersey against Amazon and Power Extra. In 2020, a couple alleges they bought a Power Extra battery for a power tool and the battery exploded, resulting in severe and permanent injuries. The case is now pending in federal court. Amazon has denied allegations of negligence, arguing it's not liable for third party products sold on its platform. Amazon did not answer our questions for this report, and lawyers in the New Jersey case have been unable to reach Power Extra. We haven't either. Power Extra did not respond to our calls, emails, even certified letters. Unplug your lithium ion batteries. Pete Legan hopes his story and these images will bring that message home. I know the convenience of having those is. Uh, is really great, but we never thought that something like this could happen to us and it can happen to you too. In addition to unplugging chargers and removing batteries when you're not home, safety experts say you should always use the manufacturer's battery and charger. And if a battery is damaged, stop using it immediately. That increases its chances of exploding or overheating. Lexi Suter, NBC5 responds. Message received. Thinking of all the things. I know, <laughs> right? Home right now.